Hi, I'm Milena Moser. I'm a writer from Switzerland and I'm here to share some of my inside skills quirks with you. Um, a lot of you have expressed the, the desire to finally start rewriting. I don't know if you all have your first draft yet, but okay, okay, I'll go with you. But I have to warn you, the first thing I do sounds a little crazy. Um, I print out my first draft with everything in it. My first draft is completely unedited. I never looked at it while I go. And there's a lot of, um, you know, half-finished sentences, a lot of, oh my God, I think I'm lost. Oh my God, I don't know where to go. I think this is stupid, blah, 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 blah. All that stuff is still in there. So I print it out, put it on my desk. I open a new document, second draft, and sentence by sentence, I copy this thing back into my computer. I know it sounds crazy, but it works. I'll tell you why. I think it was, I don't know, maybe 1992 or something like that, a long time ago. I ruined um, a finished manuscript by pouring water in my laptop. And at that time, I only had a printout of an older version and my editor at the time, she put her marks on post-its. So as I had been going through it, I just, you know, pulled off those post-its. So I didn't have her notes anymore. And she was not amused. She was not ready to go through the whole thing again. And so I, I took this printout of the last version. And I knew someone who knew someone who knew someone who worked in an advertising agency. And they had this weird new thing called a scanner. It was huge. So I went there after hours, but it didn't, wasn't able to read my pages. They came out looking like Chinese or something. So I had no other choice but to copy the whole thing back into my computer. Oh, and also my son, I only had one son at the time. Um, he had a broken a leg skiing. It's kind of a Swiss rite of passage. So he was not in school, but home on the couch every five minutes. Mom, my Lego fell down. Mom, I'm thirsty. Anyway, my publisher gave me a week to finish the manuscript. And I thought, this is crazy. I'm going to kill myself. But it worked. Not only did it take much less time than I thought, but the manuscript got much, much better by going through that process because... If you start copying something, automatically, you start talking to yourself. You start pronouncing each sentence. You take each word in your mouth. And immediately, you notice if something is off. Every tiniest little um, wrong tone of voice, repetitions, wrong time, anything that you might overlook just by reading, um, you stumble over it. Your mouth doesn't want to spit it out. Your analytical mind is corrupt or corruptible. Your mouth, your tongue, your lips, your teeth aren't. In my case, for example, I have this thing, you know, I didn't finish school, I didn't go to college, so sometimes I still feel a little shame around that and sometimes when I'm writing there's this really mean monkey really dangerous monkey looks like Margaret Duras with big round glasses sits on my shoulder and says oh my god Milena look at you using four syllable words making all these complicated convoluted um, sentences wow maybe you are an intellectual after all so that would be a good day writing that evening, I will go to bed thinking like, huh, pretty good. But a year later, when I get to this part, inevitably, I cannot pronounce that stuff that I was so proud of at the time. And don't get me wrong, it might be grammatically correct. It might even be pretty, but it's not my voice. So it has to go. Kill your darlings, as they say in showbiz goes for us too. So try it. I know you think it's crazy, but try it. It's worth it.